you know, sometimes you need to create an exploded assembly very quickly. You're not so worried about all the little details. So in this video, that's exactly what I'm going to show you how to do, is create a quick exploded assembly. Here's how it works. I'm going to go up to my assembly tab here of the little Lego Man assembly, right click and ask the software to create an exploded assembly. Here I'll choose a blank template and validate. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose my simplified representation, sure why not, and configuration, I'm going to choose configuration 1. This is coming from my articulated components that I made before showing that the Lego dude could move. I'll go ahead and validate. Now here I'm going to zoom up and I'm going to start by making just a quick spherical explosion. So I choose the spherical explosion, I'll leave my coefficient at 2, I'm going to window select everything, and like that we have an explosion. Now, this is okay. I mean, we can make the coefficient maybe 3 even, make it a little bit bigger. This is okay. This explodes the components, and sometimes that's all you need. But at the end of the day, I can't do a mounting animation with this or create mounting stages with this because it's one explosion. Now, what can you do with this? You can validate it. That's perfect, right? We can take this, and we can even make a drawing of it. Why not on an A-size ANSI landscape drawing? Sure. Let's do this as a, oh, front camera, why not? We'll go right there. If you notice when you rotate, I'm middle clicking to rotate, I have all of my exploded viewed or exploded components, pardon me. I can set this visually as I want. I want it to be rendered, why not? I want it to be hidden lines, perfect. And maybe here I also want to just add my bill of material quickly. So I'll add the BOM right on top of it there. Maybe I'll set it to be a little bit smaller. Awesome. I have everything I need. Maybe the last thing I want to do is detail or uh, add the balloons, right? Now, why would you do this? Maybe you don't care. Maybe all you're after is documenting each of the components and want to make it real easy for your customers to determine what component is what, right? So if that's all you're after, this is the best method for you. If you want to do a little bit more, well then you have to take your time to create the exploded assembly.